What's happening, everybody? Of course, it's your host, Brent Young, and you are tuning in to the most award-winning talk show in Memphis, Atlanta, and Mobile, Alabama. Of course, I'm talking about Brent TV. Now, do not adjust your TV set. We got a brand new face on the show tonight. My man, he is magnificent, he is awesome, and he know karate for real. Mixed martial arts. I ain't gonna just go limit you to karate. Okay, okay. You know it all. all right. I'm talking about Michael Ja White. How you doing, I'm brother? I'm good. I'm good. Hey, Happy to be here. First and foremost, I got to say thank you for coming on the show. It means a lot to have you here with us, man. Well, thanks, bro. All right, so let's talk about what brings you to Memphis, man. The Heal the Hood Foundation. I'm coming coming to uh, to speak and, um, and really, you know, fellowship with folks who are, you know, coming from a place that, hey, you know, I feel like we're all from the same hood. Right. You know, I came up in the place. I've been on my own since I was 14. I uh, got some stories to tell you. Got some things to, you know, experience and, you know, I mean, I, I'm, I'm one of the luckiest people on the planet. I came from a real rough surroundings, but, and um, luckily, you know, had people give me the, the right seeds at the right time. So I'm really committed to doing that same thing. That's awesome. Of yeah. course, we got to say shout out to the Hill the Hill Foundation of Memphis. Amazing people and they are making a difference in the community. Mm -hmm. I got to say that. They're not paying me to say it. I say it because it's true. Well, you that's know? good. Now, let's get into you, man, because mm -hmm. you got an extensive catalog. Man, the first time, I got to talk about the first time I saw you. Mm -hmm. Man, the first time I saw you, you were playing Mike Tyson. I okay. love that movie. Oh, thank you. I love thank that you. movie. I love doing that movie. So let's talk about that, man. Well, shoot, that that was like that was really interesting because I had so many con uh, so many uh, similarities of Mike Tyson growing up. Yeah, it was crazy that I would end up playing a, a role like that. Yeah, uh, he was on his own. He was he grew. He was about you know he got the size he was real early. Right. Like me, yeah. he was revered for what he could do fighting. Yeah. You know. Very much like myself, um, but you know, unlike him, I mean, he had the whole world having to peer over his shoulders, right. and so I got a, a, a little bit of a taste of that. Uh, but I, I really was was I had a real good insight into playing a role like that, because right. and plus he was very much like we had that same kind of um, anger, that kind of fire. Yeah, you know what I mean. So. I always say that fire is amazing. It, it could, uh, like like fire. I mean, it could it could cook the food or it could burn the house down. Yeah, is is what you do with it. Right. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Now we got to fast forward to another movie. I'm talking mm -hmm. about cult classic, Dark Knight. Dark Knight. Okay. Yes. All right. Yes. So I mean, what did it feel like to be a part of that? Such a such a inspiring movie because I've always wanted to be Batman when I was a kid. I like Spider-Man too. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie to you, but mm -hmm. I always wanted to be Batman. I thought I was Batman. You, know? you thought you was Batman? I thought I was Batman. I ain't trying to jump off no house or no stuff like that. Uh, you know, know okay. what I mean? But what was yeah. it like to be a part of such a cool film? And it was cool. I mean, just like any other film, I mean, it's, it's really cool to get that opportunity. It's what, it's what I got into it for, and I'm blessed to have my, my shot to do that. Uh, I didn't know it was going to turn out to be such an iconic movie. Right. You know, so I mean, it was it was fun. I mean, it was it was real cool. Heath Ledger was real cool, yeah. director, all that type of stuff. And um, yeah, I, I look look to do more of that type of stuff. That's cool. That's yeah. cool. All right. So of course, let's go ahead and get into the mixed martial arts, man. Mm -hmm. So of course, history says that it came from other places, but we know where it come from, man. Come on. Man. History is history. History says the right things. Well, okay. Let me say yeah. historians. Historians, yeah. What they say? They say it came from Africa. That's what historians say. Not the ones when I was growing up. They were saying it came from Taiwan and Korea and all that stuff, just like my shirt. Well, they didn't know what they were talking about. Okay. okay. <laughs> I mean, that that that's it's a simple fact. Yeah. I mean, you had you had you had uh, in Beni Hassan in in Africa. There was, I mean, 1500 BC yeah. was. Uh, you, you see the it's etched on walls. You, right. you know. Martial art forms. There's so many that that came through that way. Yeah. But even China knows that. Yeah. China, I mean, with Bodhidharma coming through, you know, and bringing martial arts and and Buddhism. Yeah. You know, so this is the man that was, that was this color. Yeah. That's in their own history. Yeah. It's it's not it's not hidden really. Yeah. I mean, even in J J Japanese history, look at the old. They they, they have ancient paintings of samurai warriors where some are, <laughs> are, are light and some are brown. Yeah. 
So what about their that, that That's not a mistake. What about their noses? They noses? Yeah. What about? <laughs> no, they had noses like us. Come yeah, on, man. Well, well, come on. You know yeah. where we? You know, you know, we started that thing. Yeah. Man. We know. Well, you know that. You know that. Listen, all you got to do is look at a, a kung fu movie or even a Japanese movie, and there's somebody that looked like somebody in your family or in your hood. I you promise. go, damn. If I, if I, if I, if I paint that dude brown, he yeah. looked like. Chico. Exactly. You know, Down the street. <laughs> it's, yeah, so. Chico yeah, with the yeah. pinto. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's, it's not a coincidence. All right, so what you, you know? got coming up next, my bro? Well, I got a couple of things. I mean, I got, I got a movie coming out in June okay. with Universal. And that stars, and my, my wife is in it with me. Oh, wow. My wife is in it, and we fight. We about the, I think it's the first time I ever heard of a married couple in a, a martial art fight scene against each other. So you mean to tell me y'all gonna get paid to fight? Yeah, we, we got paid to fight. <laughs> That's dope. Yeah, so, That's dope. Yeah, so we, we did that, and um, this and uh, we about to start our fifth movie together. Okay. Yeah, and uh, we start that in May. Social media, man, what is it? What? what? Oh, oh, oh social media. you know what, I'm, man, uh, what is it? Uh, official Michael Jai okay. at Instagram. Okay. I'm not good at this. I can't, and my, my wife is the, usually like, you know, telling me whatever, it's this. And I'm like, I, I can't remember it for some reason. The, the, the real Michael, thank you. That's, the real Michael Jai White on Facebook, what she said. Right. Twitter is just like hashtag Michael Jai White, I think, go. something like that. There you go. There it is. And I it's think. at the bottom of the screen for everybody that didn't get it. Trust That'd be me, cool. You know, That'd be it's, cool because I need help. I'm it's old. There. But I definitely got to say thank you for being on the show. Thank you for being a part of my movement and the Heal the Hood Foundation as well. Like I said, they're amazing people. So well, thank you. Hey, hey, it's my pleasure. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. To, I done rolled up my sleeves already. Yeah. So put it that way. I'm okay. ready to do, do some work. Let's put that work in. With that being said, mm -hmm. now back to more Brink TV.